Welcome back everyone, I'm the Redstone Warper here. I'm here in my testing world today because I would like to show you three really bad game breaking glitches that drive me nuts. That really need to be fixed in 1.18. All the hype around the newest update at Minecon Live on Saturday is going around. So I thought I would take the time to show some game breaking glitches that need to be fixed. If we go ahead and put some arrows on here and get the clock started, you can see stuff is happening like normal. Uh, but if we come over here, we can flick our magic lever super duper fast, and all of a sudden, um, I'm not clicking anymore, and, uh, and we have a cursed lever over there, and uh, redstone is frozen. In fact, most of the game is frozen, so if I want to go into game mode uh, survival, doesn't happen. F3 and N, doesn't happen. Editor man here. The reason why this happens is because redstone creates way too many updates, way more than it needs to be. That's why we use rails instead of redstone. The next glitch I'd like to show you is uh, demonstrating the client side lag of pistons. When you have a lot of them firing, uh, it causes some client side lag that doesn't go away when you turn off the machine. Until you unload the area, you were going to lag like crazy. So to demonstrate this, we could use my 1.4 million cobblestone per hour farm that I was designing for a while, but we'll go ahead and use this slightly simpler, slightly slower copper oxidation farm, the Octocoil. So if we just kind of spectate the farm here, we'll let it run for a while as all of the copper is slowly cycling its way up, and instead of a blast chamber, we're just using command blocks because I haven't finished designing that yet. Just let it run for a little while, and you can see we're getting 22, 18 frames per second, starting to get kind of bad. Uh, we'll just let this run for a little while. You can see that a lot of we get a lot of flashing pistons and flashing blocks as things are not being rendered correctly. I think this might have something to do with the issue. As you can see, the game is processing a lot more slowly. If we hit our F3 screen, we're down to four frames per second, 13 frames per second, like this is not good. So you can see that we have stopped the farm now and everything is like herky and jerky, like it's just lagging out. Uh, if we press F3, uh, you can see if we're standing still don't really do anything you can we get massive lag spikes and it makes it really hard to do anything So just even just flying around it causes us to lag out a bit The last glitch actually has to do with my wireless redstone designs in fact all wireless redstone designs And this is the bug that is the very reason for why server-side wireless redstone and single-player redstone differ. If you notice, we can press this button here and we can transmit a signal. This is one of the designs uh, among many, many, many others. This is because the entity atomic integer is shared between the client rendering and the integrated server, which causes it so that sometimes when rendering items, it can cause the wireless redstone to get a signal when it was never sent. This is fixed in two ways. In single player, as long as the player is not loading it and you use a portal loader, this is completely eliminates all of the errors and you don't have to worry about it. You can see just there, one of the errors tried to tick through. Now, one of my subscribers in the Discord server actually created a mod which fixes this with like six lines of code so that the atomic integer is not shared between the integrated server and the client rendering, completely fixing wireless redstone in single player when the player is loading it. I would be extremely happy if Mojang would implement this easy, easy fix into the next update, making it so that wireless redstone will work flawlessly for everybody. There will be a bug report for this one down in the description, so I would encourage all of you to vote for it so that we can increase the chance of this getting fixed. There will also be a uh, link to the download where you can download this mod so that in the meantime, while we wait for Mojang to do the right thing, we can patch it ourselves using a nice little fabric mod which you can install and it will remove the client side errors for wireless redstone. As always, I've been the Redstone Warper, warping redstone, one machine at a time. Thanks for watching.